hey guys assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell button like comment and share show your love guys anyways um i think it's like day 11 of ramadan so 10 days have gone alhamdulillah so a third of ramadan has gone we can do this please keep me and my family in your prayers guys and hopefully yeah we'll see the end of it and um anyways let me know in the comments what kind of iftar you guys enjoy give us some iftar ideas guys because i am running out so we've just come out of the house i'm on my lunch break one hour and we're heading to town to the halal grocery store to grab some ingredients for iftar today and today's plan is to have steak for iftar which is going to be really exciting it's going to follow a really simple easy recipe make some steak for me my husband and asia who's been fasting as well she's done a few fasts not all of them but because she was really ill in the beginning of ramadan but um yeah so she's fasting today by the way my asia is only 10 years old mashallah allahumma barik keep her in your duas guys but yeah we're gonna make steak if hopefully we find the meat in the shop and yeah we'll show you how it all goes but yeah I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye! Yes, They're cutting our lamb steak, guys. They don't have beef. <laughs> Yeah, I think, think he uh, second the worker cut his fingers once. Oh, yeah, man. Good guy as well. Right, you guys. There is about 45 minutes left to iftar time and i am about to make the food um here's the steak all the ingredients are out there's thyme there's garlic there's some vegetables asparagus and long stem broccoli we've got a new meat mallet whatever it's called you know to bang the meat <laughs> we've got the salt and pepper there butter you name it so everything's ready i'm really excited I'm going to use that pan there and let's get on with it. Right, first things first, we are going to salt and pepper the meat. Keep it really, really simple. Um, I have washed the meat, by the way, and I've dried it with a paper towel tissue. So we're going to use sea salt because you want, from the recipe that I've seen, they use like big... Um, grain i don't know what you call it but you know coarse salt so i'm just gonna generously put this all over the meat and they use quite a lot you know in the recipes that i've seen okay cool we're also going to add coarse ground pepper and then we're just going to put that in and then flip it on the other side and do the other side right so let's flip this over and we're going to do exactly the same thing on this side now Oh no, I've run out of pepper, guys. It's okay, we've got this one. Let's add lots of this as well. Right, let me wash my hands. Right, so with the mallet, we're just going to gently... 
um, mash the meat. Okay, whilst we're doing that, I'm going to quickly put some oil in the pan, dash of oil. Like that. Let's carry on. Cool. So that's all mashed up, guys. And we are going to add it to this oil. Bismillah. So I've just done the dishes and it's been on the pan for a few minutes. This is what it looks like so far. I'm just going to let it cook. I haven't put the um, gas up too much because I don't want it like to burn. I want the insides to be cooked nicely. Right, so we're going to sort out these vegetables. We've got some asparagus here. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with these, but I'm just going to cut off the end slightly up to here and I'm going to give these a good wash and then we're going to also cook these in butter and garlic and we've also got these bad boys and I'm going to do the same just cut off the ends and give them a good wash cool let's wash these bad boys Let's give the meat a little turn, see what it looks like, oh that's gorgeous, I like that colour, smells really nice. Right, let's dry up the asparagus and the broccoli. We are going to make some cheese and onion mash as well. I'm to cut this. Right guys, so I'm gonna put the gas down a little bit. And this is the moment where we add some butter. And so I got it. Let's put these on this side. There's more heat up here. Okay, cool. So we're going to use some anchor unsalted butter. And let's use a nice big chunk because we've got four pieces. Melting nicely. So with the butter, we are going to add some thyme pieces here. I've washed and dried these before. We're going to add the thyme. And then we're also going to add the garlic pieces. Perfect. That pepper on top of the meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pepper, coarse pepper. So what you want to do is get some of the butter, uh, butter. and you want to drizzle it over the meat here. Love is falling from my mouth right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rough for what looking at it. I wasn't feeling hungry all the time. Well now what you know, feeling kinda like 
Really? Home all this time, guys. I was waiting for him for over an hour. I had to help to people, okay? He had to fix his fire and help one of his cousins do something. Yeah, no rest for the wicked. Now it's time to take it off the pan and plate it. Yeah. How long did you cook it for? We're going to cook those, the asparagus and broccoli. So I'm going to add a little bit more butter. And add these to it. boiling water and I'm gonna add a dash of double cream so it's proper creamy today we've got some butter there as well let's just mix everything up my daughter's really hungry mm -hmm. hey Chelsea yeah yeah one of some cheese to the mix mm -hmm. I like it cheesy guys Chuck it cheesy About three more minutes. Quickly. I'm gonna be like Gordon Ramsay now. Zoldi! Somebody get the dates out. Uh, hold on, let me go get the dates out. Okay, we're gonna put the meat on the plates, like so. We've got an extra meat here. Well, if Hathi is hungry, we okay. can give it to her. Cool. I'm gonna put some juices. Let's leave this extra bit here and then what we're going to do is add some asparagus Wow, Michelin star chef You're a five star Michelin. Add some juices. I've had the other thing. Perfect. I'm going to add some of the garlic. Let's add some creamy mash. Very, very creamy mash. Guys, I've taken my first bite and it is so delicious. Honestly, you guys need to try this recipe. What about you, babe? Yeah, I'm enjoying it actually. It it's is really so nice. delicious. I think this is the best iftar we've had. Mm, this is different. This, this Ramadan. I like it. It's different. Really, yeah. and the vegetables, the asparagus is oof the creamy mash is oof i just i'm just really enjoying it alhamdulillah Allahumma barik. anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog guys please do not forget to subscribe and inshallah i will speak to you soon